In this video, we will be creating some motion graphics in CapCut. It has three steps. Step 1. We need to download some files, including five images from the Nike site, three angel images, two PNG clouds, a 3D stage from FreePick by searching for 3D stage, and three sky images. Step 2. We need to prepare our photos for motion graphics. You might be wondering how to do it? Well, the first step is to convert them to PNG format. Then, we should separate different body parts such as hands and wings. I personally use Photoshop but you can use any program with similar tools. So, import your angel photos into Photoshop and remove the background by using tools like the magic wand or pen tool. After removing background, it's time to use the lasso tool. To select the round wing. Once the wing is selected, press Ctrl X to cut it. Next, press Ctrl V to paste the wing into a new layer. Finally, move the wing layer under the body layer. Alright, now it's time to use the lasso tool once again. Select both the hand and the flower at the same time. Once the hand is selected, press Ctrl X to cut it. Next, press Ctrl V to paste the hand into a new layer. Now, you need to clean up the edges of the hand by using the eraser tool. After you've cleaned up the hand, you should also remove the hand from the body layer by using the clone stamp tool. Hold the Alt key to choose the target area. Then, press the left mouse button to draw it wherever you want. The clone stamp tool allows you to choose an area and then draw it onto another area, effectively cleaning up the hand on the body layer. Then, make the wings slightly bigger using the clone stamp tool. Then, duplicate the wings layer because angels have two wings. Export the four layers as PNG format. Repeat this process for the other angels. Separating the head is optional. Step 3. Import your angels layers into CapCut. Place the wings underneath, the body on top of the wings, and the hands on top of the body. To move them, Use the play pendulum effect. Adjust settings accordingly, as each image may require different movement. Apply the pendulum effect to the hand, wing, and head layers too. Remember that all layers should have random movements. Select all the layers in your project. Adjust the duration of the selected layers to be 30 seconds. Place a green screen under all layers and export in 2K or 1080p. Repeat this process for the other angels. You should end up with something like this. Now we need to create an infinite sky background. Open Photoshop. Create a new project with these settings. Use gradient for background and import sky and cloud images. And done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All you need is to use your PNG clouds and duplicate them. Change the ear size and opacity. Then use some sky image. Change blend mode to overlay or screen. Then use eraser tool. Big size and less hardness to clean harsh edges. And done. And now you are God. I'm just kidding. All of us are God. Or Master, or Bob Ross. Leave me alone. Back in CapCut. Import the sky background into the timeline and scale it to fit the screen. Create keyframes to animate the sky moving upward. Increase the duration of the sky layer to 30 seconds as the entire project should be 30 seconds long. Then, extend the second frame until the end of the layer so that the sky movement lasts for 30 seconds. Now, place a video of the sky with moving clouds on the sky layer. Then. Adjust its opacity and rotate it to align the cloud movement with the direction of the sky layer. Import a 3D stage into the timeline. Increase the duration to 30 seconds. Then, move it down. Then import Angel's video into timeline. Remove the green screen color using chroma key on the Angel's cutout. 
Change the strength until the green color is removed. Then make the angel smaller and place it on the right side. Mirror the angels to face the gate. Repeat this process for the other angel too. Add PNG clouds on top of the angels and duplicate them. Make them smaller or a little bigger and decrease opacity a little bit. Then apply the play pendulum effect to the clouds for movement. Apply the effect to other clouds as well. Remember that each cloud has a different movement. Change saturation and brightness to make the angels pop. Repeat this process for the other angel too. Move them slightly to the right and left. What happened to third what angel? What about Nike bags? Where is magical mirror? Liar. Okay, okay, I will explain it. Open a new project and import the sky image. Change the project ratio to 1.1. Import one of the backpack images into the timeline. Import the third angel image below the backpack layer. Adjust the size and rotation of the third angel image to make it appear as if she is holding the bags in her hand. Duplicate the angel layer for the other bags. Import another bag on second angel layer. Select sky layer and increase duration to 30 seconds. Then select bag and angel layer and create compound clips. Apply play pendulum effect on it for create some movement like she flying. Then go to animation part. Use slide down for in with 0.7 duration. And use slide right for out with 0.7 duration. Repeat this process for the other angels. Add motion effects like Doodle Diary and use the settings. Add and rebound swing to the sky background. Apply light effects at beginning of video for reflection. By using keyframe make a fade in the atmosphere from 100 to 0. And add chrome blur and hazy effects, increase duration to 30 seconds. Now you have a magical mirror. You can use other effect too if you want. Then export it as 2K or 1080p. Import the magical mirror video into the original project. Resize and mask it with a circle mask to fit the stage. Then, select Magical Mirror again and create Compound Clip again with a circle mask to fit the stage. Choose Bottom of Mirror, make it small like size of stage. Then invert Mask. Now Mirror is behind stage. Use Fade in Animation for visibility. Apply Blue Mosaic to the sky background for texture. Duplicate the cloud video and move it on top of all layer for more clouds pass through in camera and change opacity. Add default text and write the brand name Nike on the mirror. Choose your font. Then use animation for in and out. I use flicker animation. Duplicate it and write your ID. And done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like video, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. And stay creative. See ya.